Okay, troops, we're going to try and recreate the Young's double slit experiment. I'm going to shine our laser through a double slit. That's a double slit there. There they are. We're going to put this double slit in front of our laser. Our laser is shining at a screen. There's a single dot on the screen just now, and the question is what happens when we put the double slit in front of it? Most people would say, think. Well, you're going to see two spots on the screen because there are two slits. But of course, that's not what you see. Here's what you see. Okay, I've put the double slit in front of the laser. So that laser is shining through both of those slits. And on the screen, we see an interference pattern. A series of dots, brightest dot is the middle. And those dots are separated by a spacing, a fringe spacing, we call it. So Thomas Young did this experiment, 1798, I think. And what this experiment demonstrated was that light is behaving like a wave. So not only does this experiment prove that light's a wave, it also allows us to determine the wavelength of the light. Here's the relationship that's on your relationship sheet. If we rearrange it, we can get it in a form where we can calculate the wavelength. Delta X is the separation of the fringes. That's those bright spots. Separation of the fringes. Small d is the slit separation of the two slits on the double slit itself. That's the slit separation. And big D Big D is the distance to the screen. Now we can measure all of them. So we're going to measure them and pop them into that relationship and see what we get for the wavelength of our laser. So first thing we're going to measure is the distance to the screen from the slit. I've got a meter stick there. That's one meter. Let's slide that up and let's make that distance to the screen. 1.5 meters so i'm arranging my slit so that it's 1.5 meters away from the screen the second thing we need to measure is we need to measure the distance between the slits on the double slit okay. that's the slit separation here now it's very small it's a very small measurement. There's no way we could measure the distance between those two slits with a ruler. So, we're going to use a travelling microscope. A microscope's got a scale on it that will allow us to very precisely measure the distance between those two slits. There it is. That's what I see when I look through the microscope. And by moving the microscope, I can measure that distance very precisely on... A little scale there. So with my travelling microscope, I've now measured the distance between the two slits. It's 0.24 millimetres, plus or minus 0.01 millimetres. That's my uncertainty in measuring that. So I can put that onto my diagram here, the distance between the slits. is 0.24 millimetres. My distance from the double slit to the screen is 1.5 metres. And then all that's left for me to do then is put the double slit in front of the laser and we're going to measure the fringe spacing. Now, measuring one fringe spacing will be too tricky. So we're going to measure 10 fringe spacings and then divide that by 10 to get delta X, the fringe spacing. So here we go. So there's my double slit in front of the laser at a distance of 1.5 meters from the fringe pattern. And we're going to measure 10 fringe spaces. So if I get my ruler here, I'm going to measure, let's make that one there the first one. And we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 40 millimetres, 40 millimetres, 
It's 10 French spaces. 10 French spacings is 40 millimetres, so delta X, spacing between each fringe is 4 millimetres. If we then put all that into our relationship, let's see what we get. Okay, there's all my numbers in the equation. So the fringe spacing was 4 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. The distance between the slits, 0.24 times 10 to the minus 3, 0.24 millimetres. And the distance to the screen was 1.5. If I do all that on a calculator, we get... 6.4 times 10 to minus 7, 640 nanometers. So 640 nanometers. If we then look at the laser itself, let's see what it says. It's the school's helium neon laser, continuous wave of 632.8 nanometers. So we're about 7 billionths of a meter out. Am I right? 7 nanometers. Well, that's pretty good. That's Young's double slit experiment. That's magic. We know on uncertainties here, remember any measurement you make without knowledge of its uncertainty is meaningless. So, we made three measurements. The distance to the screen was 1.5 metres. We pretty much measured that accurately to within about a centimetre. So, 1.5 plus or minus 0.01 It's an uncertainty of 0.7% Pretty small because it was a big distance The slit separation 0.24 millimetres plus or minus 0.01 millimetres Gives us our largest uncertainty of 4.2% The 10 fringe spacings 40 millimetres plus or minus half a millimetre 1.3% The 4.2% is more than three times bigger than the other two, so it is our percentage uncertainty and our calculated value for the wavelength. And 4.2% of 640 is 27 nanometers. So we can confidently say that the wavelength of the laser was 640 plus or minus 27 nanometers. There you go then.